Good morning. Oh, Anna's in the background. No. <laughs> so today I wanted to make a video showing a little insights about what it's like to be a Minerva student. So I'm gonna take you everywhere I go and everything I do. One of the reasons why I want to do it is because I've been binge watching this girl who goes to Cambridge and she shows what it's like to be a Cambridge student and it's very very different from what it's like to be in Minerva and I feel like this is a really good representation because it's 9 in the morning right now I got up to prepare for my class at 1 Anna is sleeping there are some students who are already taking class so <laughs> everyone's schedule is very different are you good man? Mm -hmm. <laughs> to be honest she got up earlier and made me coffee so <laughs> she's taking a rest okay let's get into this day procrastinate enough but still I'm gonna take this time to explain to you what our classes are like our classes last for 90 minutes they were all seminar based we have no lectures and we have to do all the homework and readings before class so when we start the class we can discuss the material instead of learning it another thing that you may or may not know depends on how long you've been following me on social media is that all Minerva classes are online it's a platform called active learning forum we see the professor that can be anywhere in the world and there are not more than 90 students in class. I'll show you when my class starts. Before that, I really need to do my readings and homework and eat. <laughs> an interview with a company that works in Seoul for a project so I have to be there at 4 right now it's 2 35 it takes an hour to get there I'm gonna get dressed I'm gonna get ready all of my important possessions my beats always my laptop my tumbler what is it whatever it's called what is it called reusable coffee cup but it's not really a coffee cup. anyways it's a thermos cup or something I wonder what kind of image of Minerva like it's gonna make like, we're all busy we're doing stuff and everything is important Every Minerva is different, so that is true. You cannot generalize. Ooh. So every semester, Minerva finds civic partners for us in every city we go to. They work in different industries. As students who are interested in collaborating with them, get in touch. So this is exactly what I did, and now I'm going to the office. Okay. So in order to get to Gangnam, the district that I'm going to, I need to take a bus and also the metro. To do that, I need to reload my, hi! I need to reload my transportation card, which is, oh, that girl is my bus, which is called Team Money Card here in Korea. Please don't kill me. Also, these buses have these like cute faces, but they're gonna kill you because the bus drivers are pretty reckless. Hey. I came up with the perfect project that will help you guys uh, learn kind of the important things and here's what it is. Okay, that looks foodie. The meeting went great. How do you feel about it, Amal? It's great. Say hi. Hi. <laughs> I have a work meeting in 30 minutes so now we're just gonna try to find some food and then I'll be in a coffee shop in the meeting. Life of a vegan in Korea. 
French fries. So the Wi-Fi, the coffee place that I went to wasn't strong enough for me to hear anything in the meeting, so I'm rushing to a Starbucks nearby because that's the only place I can think of where they have good Wi-Fi anywhere in the world. to seven different cities so I'm a sophomore and I'm in Seoul the freshmen are in San Francisco the juniors are in Berlin and seniors are in London which is why our classes are all at different times in different time zones so I have this class at 11 p.m. and I also have a class at 9 in the morning tomorrow and I'm not prepared for the class so I think what I'm gonna do is work most of the night after my class and then sleep for three or four hours take another class shower, take a nap. <laughs> I think we made full circle. Hi, Anna. Hello. <laughs> so for dinner, we're having rice with wasabi roasted seaweed and tofu and bok choy and soy sauce and sesame seeds. So mm. it's definitely possible to be vegan in South Korea. Looks ugly, but it's delicious. Oh yeah. <laughs> Your customers will be people in modern countries because after all the wellness concerns, they have introduced like fruits and veggies into the menu. I look so fresh. It's 3:45. I'm working my class. I know that the title says that it's a typical day in a Minerva's life, but it's not typical to stay up so late and not sleep. It's not good, it's not healthy, but I feel like sometimes it's okay. It's currently five in the morning, yay! I'm really excited to go to bed. <laughs> My point is that I really got a message. Is that I really didn't feel like filming after I woke up and took a shower because I just wasn't feeling cute. So, hi the next day. I'm going to a party at a blockchain called Living Space, which is a very typical Minerva thing, thing, thing to do. And I'm also bringing my laptop because I have to take class from there. Another very Minerva thing to do. Thank you so, so much for watching. I had a lot of fun making this. I think it will be cool to see how my day-to-day -day life will change from Seoul to Hyderabad to Berlin, etc. Make sure to subscribe because I'll post a new video next week. And yeah, here's the rest of the night for you. Wait, where am I from? Um, like Canada. <gasps> How do you say it in Korean? Let's go, 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 Let's go,